Hi guys, it's Missy from Missy's Motherhood. <clears throat> I'm so sorry I haven't put a video up for a while. It's um it's been quite busy for us. So I've been thinking a few days about what videos I'd like to put up and I decided to do a cow's milk protein allergy video based around baby led weaning. So Elba's eight months now and she's been doing baby led weaning dairy free for the last two months and she's getting on really well. Um, since learning about Elva's CMPA, um, a lot of people have asked me like how I've adjusted to it and what I do and, and how I cope. So I thought I'd do a little video. So I'm going to go through the staples and then I'll go through what we do for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Just to sort of give you an idea of um, how we do it. So the first staple that I use dairy free is dairy free butter and that is Vitalite which is a sunflower based butter and is obviously dairy free. This is one of my favourite butters because it's widely available, it's insane to use Tesco, um, Asda, um, Tesco Express as well which is good and I find it the cheapest version. It's usually only a pound and in Morrison's it's always on offer. So I use that for breakfast mainly, so if she has toast or crumpets then that's on it. So the next thing dairy free that I use for breakfast sometimes is uh, cheese on toast. So this is my cheese alternative, I get this from Sainsbury's and it's a coconut based alternative so they use coconut oil. Now this cheese is a cheddar style cheese and it's wheat free gluten-free, milk-free and also egg-free because I know a lot of babies are also egg intolerant. It's a great cheese to use and it's actually quite a close taste and texture to cheddar cheese. I'm quite careful about what cheese I do use because some cheese just doesn't taste anything like cheese, it tastes more like cardboard so this is a really good one. This is also great for baby led weaning because it holds together well so if you cut it into finger slices it stays in one piece so that's a good one and it's great on toast um other things that i use for breakfast that are dairy free is sometimes i use kiddylicious um wafers so i've been using these with alva since she was about six months old um but she's only really grasped them since she was about seven months old because they're quite big so i normally cut them in half like lengthways as well as being dairy free they're also gluten free so that's a good one and what I like about these is they they actually taste like blueberries I mean I find I pick up some dairy free stuff and some baby stuff and it doesn't really taste like what the food says it is but these are really nice and they're just really good to carry around in your handbag or in your changing bag so if you think oh she's hungry or oh, it's a quick snack that you know is suitable for her and it's also good for breakfast. You can get these in Boots as well as Sainsbury's. I'm not too sure where else you can get them because um, I usually go to Boots to get mine. So that's breakfast really. Um, with breakfast as well, I just thought I'd throw in what else she has. She'll have kiwi for breakfast. She normally has um, half a kiwi or a whole kiwi. And she also loves her avocado, so I get a lot of avocado, um, which is great. So for lunch, um, it's usually kind of the same as breakfast, so she loves her fruit, so I do a lot of avocado, a lot of cucumber, a lot of um, kiwi, a lot of tomatoes, things like that. But sometimes I'll give her peanut butter on um, bread with butter. Now... Bread, dairy-free wise, can be really tricky, so you can go to the free-from aisle section and there'll be dairy-free bread, but it's, sorry, you'll get gluten-free bread, but it's not always dairy-free, so I bought some sourdough bread and it was gluten-free, but it wasn't dairy-free, and it also had honey in, which, baby love weaning, which babies can't have until they're one, or you'll pick up some sourdough bread and there's dairy in, or you'll pick up some Irish shade of bread and there's dairy in as well so a good um bread that I found that Elva loves that's naturally dairy free is muffins now these are the king's meal ones and you get two for a pound 
and they're absolutely great so sometimes i toast them for breakfast and sometimes i use them for lunch and they're just a really great dairy food staple that's also cheap so that's a good one now sometimes i'm always out and about lunchtime because we go to glastonbury or we go swimming or we go to baby groups or you know i'm just out and about in town doing a few a few bits for the house um, so sometimes I do use puree. Um, I am 95% baby led weaning because I find it just the best and so easy. But if I do um, need something quick, I use Ella's Kitchen. So I've always loved Ella's Kitchen brands. Um, you know, there's, they've got such a wide range and they're, they're good price for what they are. And what I love about them is that they are organic. And I find they are the biggest brands that have um, a good range of naturally dairy-free puree. So this one I've got at the moment is Veggie Couscous um, <clears throat> with herbs and it's actually really nice. So in here we've got um, vegetables, tomatoes, carrots, couscous, courgette, onions, red pepper, aubergine, garlic, olive oil her and herbs. So there's absolutely no dairy in here. But what I like about this brand is that if you're in a rush and you're trying to figure out what ingredients are in there, it's on the packet, which is what I really like. Because sometimes it's an absolute pain to stand in the aisle going, it's got this, it's got, oh, it's got dairy, put it back. It's got this, oh, that sounds nice. Oh, there's dairy in it. You know, I find a lot of piccolo, hippogamic, Heinz, um, you know, they all have a lot of dairy in and a lot of their purees for like seven months and upwards have a lot of dairy in. So Ella's Kitchen is my go-to for sort of like lunchtime stuff. Um, in terms of like tea time, dinner time, really that's been the meal time that I haven't really struggled with because... The great thing about baby led weaning is that they can eat whatever you have. So, for instance, say tonight we had gammon with chips and veg. Well, that's naturally dairy free. Um, you know, and last night we had burgers and chips. Well, most burgers are pretty much dairy free. You have to be careful with burgers, though. So, Aldi, um, Sainsbury's, Tesco, they do have lots of dairy free options for burgers for instance i picked these up from tesco express and these are irish beef quarter pounders and these are naturally dairy free but the thing i would say to you is whatever you buy if it's pre-packed in a jar or a few uh, a fruit or veg puree always 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 check the labels because they like to hide things in them now, Aldi, I know for sure, pretty much most of their burgers don't have dairy in. Um, Sainsbury's do their own range of burgers, which are dairy-free. And now I found some in Tesco, so that's really good. But if it comes to things like mac and cheese, you know, spaghetti carbonara, um, lasagna, that's when I go for my dairy-free cheeses. And I just make the cheese sauce myself, really. And it's just, yeah, that's how it happens. A lot of people find, when they find out that their babies are CMPA, they find it really scary and they, f they feel like it's going to be hard work. But once you get your head around the, like, four or five basic stuff that you need, which is, you know, butter, milk, um, cheese, bread it gets a lot easier because that's your staples and that's the dairy that your baby's going to have. You know, once that's all sorted, then you can base everything around that. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a lot easier now than what it was. A couple of years ago, there wasn't as many alternatives, whereas now we're really lucky that most places have a massive free-from section aisle where there are dairy-free options. Um... You know, as babies get older, it's a bit difficult when they're a little bit older and they can start having things like chocolate and sweets and cakes and things. I mean, that's the tricky side of it because a lot of gluten-free stuff is still dairy. Um, so it's really hard to find things like 
dairy-free chocolate or dairy-free digestive biscuits or anything but just always read the labels and always do your research and you'll always find something I mean I know Asda do a lot of dairy-free like Tiffin digestive biscuits Morrison's have dairy-free Oreos um Tesco have a really great range as well um actually one ingredient I forgot which I would just get now is dairy free yogurt so I use Elpro soya with vanilla um and it's great so you can find this in most places Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda and it's a great alternative to dairy yogurt um this vanilla is really nice and it's one that Elva absolutely loves she'll demolish it the only thing is I'd be careful about how much salt and sugar is in dairy free yogurts because I find that the sugar and salt content is a lot higher. There's other alternatives like there's coconut based yogurts. I think there's um some oat based yogurts as well, but I'm not too sure if that's in Sainsbury's. So yeah, that's pretty much how we roll and that's you know the alternatives that we use so i hope this video was helpful i rambled on a bit it's been a while since i've done a video so yeah any questions any queries or any comments please feel free to comment below lovely thanks guys bye